Hi everybody, just a really quick video today um, for those people who want to check to see if their Nitrado PlayStation, Xbox console or even PC server has been updated to 1.12. Maybe you've got some niggles at the back of your brain and thinking, has it really been updated? How can I check that not only the game engine on the server that we don't have access to on, on, on console has been updated, but also the XML files as well. And at the end, I'll show you how to make sure they, they do get updated. So go to your Nitrado account, pick the server you want to check and click on the web interface, the little gears icon. Um, and then on the dashboard, just scroll down and you'll see here it says last game update. So this is update 112. And as you can see, April the 20th, then above that we've got version 112 now that just means that the the daisy server.exe file and its relevant uh, files has been updated doesn't mean your xml's have been updated if you want to check whether they've been updated you need to go into the file browser and uh, go into your missions folder now if you're on pc you've got to dig down a few more folders to get to the missions folder um, on Xbox, it, I think it says Daisy XB missions, and then uh, PC, I think it's just Daisy missions. But click on that. Now this is a Chernerus, uh, it's a Chernerus server, so we're going to be going to Chernerus Plus. Um, if it was Livonia, it would be Enoch. So we can click on this. And generally, if you go into the DB folder, the file that always tends to be updated, no matter what, on every single update, is the types.xml file. So we can see here on the right. This type of XML file was updated on April the 20th, 2021. So we're pretty sure that it's been updated. Um, if you're not quite sure, you could restart the server. Now, if you're still not sure and you think, oh, I really don't know if this has been updated or not, download the file and open it in a text editor. I'd recommend you download it and don't try and look at it on the web interface because it's a pretty large file and the search functions in the browsers aren't that brilliant. So download it. Um, Open it up in your text editor, say Notepad Plus, and in this case, what you could do is just got to pick something that is uh, exclusive to this update. So uh, a good thing for 112 um, is the new new rifle, um, which is called. Um, let's have a look. In the game, they call it the Pioneer rifle, but actually in the XML files, it's called the Scout rifle. So if we go back to our here, we can go Control F, and if we do a search for Scout, there we've got the Mag Scout five round, and we've got the Scout, and there's a Scout Chernus actually, and a Scout Livonia as well, different colours. So that, that's pretty cool, isn't it? The other thing you could look for as well for update one one two is the Kukri knife, which is the Gurkha knife. So if we just search for Kuk, there we go. So we've got the got the Kukri knife there. So we <laughs> damn sure that this server. The server engine, if you like, the server xe8.exe uh, file has been updated, but the XMLs have definitely been updated as well. So that, that's that's pretty cool. Um, if you really want to make sure they're being taken in effect, then restart the server. If your XMLs haven't been updated um, and your game files have, you want to go into the settings general, and you just want to scroll down to get to reset XML to default. I've done a video about this, but you tick that, save it, restart the server. Once the server's restarted, untick that and save it. And that will change all your XMLs to the new vanilla 112, or whatever the latest update is, XML files. But remember that will delete your modded XML files. So be careful, you know, make sure you've got backups so you've got them for reference. So there we go. That my friends is how you check whether your server has been updated to 112 with the game bit, the .exe files, but also the XMLs. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have it, like if you want to see more of the same process, subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.